Hello everyone, I'm your host, Chasing Skylar. And I am Obsidian. Obsidian, thank you for gracing us with your presence. Thank you, Skylar. Dom Studio really outdid themselves with this one. I can't wait to see what's in store next. But before we get into the reaction, you have to make sure that you like this video and you are subscribed to the channel. Only 10% of you guys subscribe to the channel and about 89.8% .8 is not subscribed. If you watch these videos every day, you might as well hit that subscribe button anyways. With that out of the way, here is Chasing Skylar. Dom Studios just released the full season for episode, or for season seven, guys. I think there's secret scenes, so let's go take a quick look at this. All right, so we're starting off at this like bunker or just before the drillman base. We're gonna, we're about to enter. Enter for the underground facility. This is where we meet the assassin, if I remember, the the drillman assassin. He was pretty cool. What do you guys think of the drillman assassin? We're going deep down into the base. Oh, bro's hurt. He's hurt. You gotta get out of there, guy. You gotta get out of there. Oh my god. What is that? Something down there. Oh, they're gonna get buzzsawed. They're all just gonna get destroyed. Yo, look at the little guy down there, man. He's trying his best, man. He's trying his best. Look at it. He's got the little nail gun and he's shooting his nails in his face and he just, he just can't. It's just not working for him. He almost did it. He saved. He managed to save one more drillman. He managed to save one more drillman, guys. This guy right here, he's the MVP. He's the MVP right there. Oh, oh, his head. Oh. He did so well, man. That's sad that he lost his arm. It's okay, buddy. Thank you. Man, he saved so many people there. He saved so many. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Smack him up. Smack. Oh. Who's the blue blur? Is that Sonic? He's iced him up. Yo, this is Plunger with uh, new plungers. I think he's got like an ice plunger or something. It's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, he's got a middle finger. That's right. Tell him who's boss. And he's broken, but he's okay. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. That's all that matters. He's got one eye. He's a Cyclops. Cyclops stole it. All right, they're evacuating. They get back in. We gotta get back in. <laughs> they had to get out of the base. Now they get back into the base. They're they're screwed from both sides. They're done. They need a savior, but who? You may ask. <laughs> that seemed pretty easy for him. Yo, he's so lit. He's gonna take them all out. He's gonna take them all out. Watch, watch, watch. Oh, here we go. This is the best part of the episode right here. He's got some crazy moves. Look at the shock on his face. Didn't know what was coming. Ooh, the noise, man. That's Titan Drillman. He's gone cray cray. He sees a uh, Drillman. Oh, okay. Time to have some McDonald's. It's a good time to have some McDonald's. Okay, what's in the safe? What is in that safe? Or filing cabinet. Filing cabinet is safe. Filing cabinet slash safe. Safe. A safe filing cabinet. Uh, G-Man Apocalypse. Oh, secret documents. Secret. Very secret. We gotta see what's in that. that those seem very important. Uh, abandoned base. <laughs> oh, no. The Clockman's base is under attack. They all gotta get out. Titan Drillman's coming to destroy everything. He's just gonna demolish it. Chief Clockman! Clockwoman! Get out! That bad alpha! She's so annoying! 
Yo, wait, wait, yo, that was sussy. Um, okay, she's taking off. Chief Clockman's saving her. We got this dude on the left here. The sussy dude. What's he up to? Yeah, yeah. You gonna help? You gonna help, buddy? I'll help you. Let's go. Oh, no. Literally backstab. Like, just... Oh, God. Just... Oh, no. That's enough. That's enough. No! Chief Clockman! No! Oh, I took his head off too? That's overkill. Oh, God. Guys, rip and chat. Rip and chat right now for Chief Clockman. Poor bro did not deserve that death. Absolutely not. Oh, God. What are they going to do? Their whole base is destroyed. Their leader murdered. What are the clockmen going to do, man? They need Titan Clockmen right now more than ever. Previously on episode 21, turn on captions. Oh yes, this is the um, the special episode. It's nice to finally see some hope. Hey, future Clockman. We have much to discuss. I also like to call him Silver Clockman, just because his clock is silver. I know, you're confused. I'm your large pal. Oh yeah. By the way, guys, this is, a, this is a ton of lore dump right now, so I'm not going to talk over him. I'm going to try to listen, so lots of lore, lots of lore. The future large pal for you. I'll be quick, because it's not the first time I'm doing this. Well, it might sound weird, but the leader of this community tour this for now is not even a uh, toy bit. It's a powerful move. At this time, she will attack our base soon. Everyone leaves, our chief stays, and he actually managed to defeat the purple lady. Though the problem is that she escapes after. Teleported with the device on her hand. You know, before you... I asked Clockwoman to use her gun at the moment. Before Clockwoman, I asked the buff guy to destroy that purple device so she couldn't escape. So he's been trying to prevent her from escaping Alpha. He's tried many times. He's used different people. And now he's asking him to kill Chief Clockman. Because there's no other way it works. When it happened for the first time, I used my last strength and sacrificed myself. First try caused all my friends just to revive me. The second try failed worse than I could even imagine. And the third try was ridiculously interrupted by some clocks in a white suit and a talking toilet that I've never seen any of them in my whole life. <laughs> I could try more. But I'm afraid as long as I'm stuck in this loop, I might reach to my limits eventually. But I believe you can change everything. Before Chief starts using his powers, you must kill him. Oh! Don't kill the Chief! <laughs> He's mad. You can hear it in his, his ringing. I know. I'm sorry. But in that case, I'm not asking anymore. Oh, he's forcing it upon him. Oh no, he did it against his will. That's even worse. Oh man, is, 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 <laughs> is future Clockman a good guy or a bad guy, guys? I have no idea at this point. All right, we got the scientist. He's radioing, he's radioing in. Wait, wait, what's going on? Wait, wait, this is a new scene, right? Hey, who's that clock? Wait, wait, who's that clock? Who's that clock? Oh, it's a scientist clock. He's got a bunch of math problems as his clock. That's hilarious. That's, that's Punch Your Catman, right? Right there. And uh, we got a bunch of TV men back here. Okay, what are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? Oh, wow, look at that. 
So they were they had a rough time at the base. They're trying to go back to it. Uh, their new base. New clock base, right? I think she's telling him what happened. No, he didn't make it. Yes, Chief Clockman's dead. Attack base zero immediately. What? We can't attack base. They're they're hurt. Right? Oh, they're getting teleported. They're gonna do it. Are they gonna go attack base zero? What's that? Whatever that is. Oh, Titan TV man! It's time, he says. He says it's time. Time for what, Titan? Wait, what's in there? What's in there? What's in there? What is that? Is that Titan Clockman? Is he back? I see, I, what I see? I see one white thing. I, that's all I saw. I don't see much in there. It's gotta be. It's gotta be Titan Clockman. That's pretty cool. I think Titan Clockman's coming back in the next couple episodes. They're gonna be lit. We got the pencil men coming up. Yo, this is where the pencil men come. All right, pencil men, here we go. All right, yo, TV woman coming in like a crazy driver. Look at her. You sure she knows how to drive? She's a little, she's a little wild. Oh no, watch out! Oh god, we got the freak toilet. I call him the freak toilet because you know he's kind of freaky. All right, watch out, bro! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Oh, time stopped. Here we go. Oh! You know it's brutal. Like you're about to die, but you're like frozen and you can't do anything about it. That would actually be kind of creepy. We're scary. Definitely. Okay, got healed. Your first time TV woman. She's like, oh, hello, guys. Oh, we got we got all the women here. That's cool. Oh, the dream team. Skewity base number zero. Skewity base zero. Okay. It's under attack. The toilets are freaking out about it. Oh, their base was infiltrated by this dude, man. He's reading. He's actually reading the Skewity Apocalypse book that we saw earlier. That's the dude who infiltrated. He was a POV the last couple episodes. Um, he's, he's obviously scanning the book and taking pictures. So he's going to probably hopefully tell the Alliance members, maybe, what's in there? What is in there? Yeah, assassinated. Didn't even hear or see him coming. He's so quiet. Oh, they're working together. That's interesting. Okay, good. All right, so trap in the base with C4. The space is so done. Mark my oh, dark speaker man, rest in peace, buddy. <laughs> rest in peace. I love that we have the multiverse because these characters are still alive. Because we know some of them are dead. I hope they don't die. I I hope they still live on in the, in the Skibby Toilet multiverse. Oh, he's giving him the cube. So now dark speaker man can teleport. That cube is pretty handy. To be able to teleport, it's probably going to save a lot of lives. I mean, it already has. Oh, Pencil Man coming in, just dismantling that toilet with, a, with that big hammer. They got so many soldiers. There's so many people involved in this war now. Oh, he's drawing weapons. He's drawing some weapons. And they're picking the weapons up. He's poking him with the pencil. Oh, this tattoo was jabbing him in the eye. Wait, he said, this guy's this guy's just like, got it. Watch. Right in the eyeball. Oh, oh, his eyeball goes missing. All right, hammers into pencil and it turns into like these spikes. So it looks like it does more harm than good. <laughs> okay, they draw their bodies back on. At least it killed some toilets. <laughs> Looked like it mostly hit pencil men, but it was okay. It's okay. This mother brain toilet. Just destroying everything. Let's see, how, let's see how they defeat this one. How do they defeat this one? This guy. This robot dude. He's, oh! That's a bloody pencil. Greetings, Alliance. That's CC oh, pen. Have made it in time. I like their texture. Their Thank ink texture on, on their um arms and stuff. As it was predicted. 
G-Map Apocalypse is in their main heads corner. One last base. G-Man Apocalypse is, up, is at their last headquarters. One last base. So they're on the full document. Toilet, base number one, located. They know where it is now? We believe that is where your female agent must be imprisoned. However, we must focus on our main goal. G-Man Apocalypse project. What, what kind of pen is he, man? I've never seen a pen like that. Cannot be allowed to succeed. Our mission is not rescue. Is he a smart pen? They gotta we rescue him. Respect your decision. Be safe, and if anything happens, we hope this can help. What is that? The fountain pen, right? No, just a regular pen. What's, it What's that going to do? It's a pen. It's a pencil. I'm so curious what that's going to do, man. Well, there you guys have it. That was the secret scenes. Uh, I think Titan Clockman's coming back. Um, here's Obsidian with the outro, guys. Have a great night. Don't forget to join the Discord. Discord link is to the left of me, and at the bottom are links to a video by me and another video by Chasing Skylar. I cannot wait for the next episode. Until next time, my friends.